pick up an early sneaker. Excited for you all to see it. Ooh, almost took off my door right there. Check it out. TV. My name is Marissa Hill and I have the pleasure of giving you an early look at the Air Jordan 1 High OG patent breads. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel. Welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Like I said earlier, we are going to be taking an early look and I just want to give all of you a heads up. We are going to start doing a lot more early looks come 2022. So definitely hit that notification bell so that you're alerted as soon as we have any of this new and upcoming content because we are going to try and get it out as fast as possible so that you get that early look to decide whether or not you want to pull the trigger and purchase the shoe. I just also want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Fear No Soul. This is the reason that I'm able to do this early look and early review for all of you. If you have not heard of Fear No Soul, they are an amazing shop located in Union City, New Jersey. Welcome, so welcome. definitely, or if you are in this area, you have to stop by their shop. They have the most fire heat on their shelves and obviously the hottest newest releases. So definitely take a stop and go into their shop and tell them Shade sent you. Also check out their Instagram at as well as their website. Again, it's Fear No Soul. So thanks again to the fam over there. All right, so we are gonna start off by talking about the overview of this beautiful bread patent colorway. Oh, I'm obsessed. Then we're gonna talk about size and fit. For those of you who do not know, this is a grade school. So we will be talking about how the grade school version looks. Then we are gonna jump into styling, how I styled this beautiful legacy colorway. Uh, and then we'll talk about when this will be releasing and how much it'll be going for. So let's jump right into it. I'm obsessed with this. You've already seen me do the Jordan uh, High and the gold and black patent colorway. And I'm obsessed with that because of Cassie. And obviously it just makes me more drawn to this one as well. And that's the fact that this is the famous bread colorway. Oh, I love it so much. It just hits the light. It's so shiny. And I know for a fact that I'm not gonna get this shoe dirty. There's something just about patent that's nice. You know, you get a little mark on there and you just kind of wipe it off real easy. You know, it's nice and simple. So we've got the bread toe box here with the black on the front of the toe and that nice patent leather. As we work our way up, we do have simple black laces on here now. If you're not feeling the black laces, they do give you a secondary option of red laces. I personally prefer the black over the red, but I do love that they give you this extra color just in case you're not filling the black or if you want to mix it up. We have the simple black nylon tongue and then we've got the accents of the red color scheme for the Jordan Air and Swishmart logo on the top there. So let's take a look at those details and then we'll move on to the side panels.
side panels, we do have the black patent leather underlays and then the swoosh is in that nice bread red color scheme. Working our way to the back of the heel, more of that red. And then we've got the Air Jordan Wings logo here on the side and the black patent color scheme, which I think pops quite nicely off of the red. And it just really has this nice sheen to it. Working our way to the inside, we do have a black uh, insole and I'm trying to see what color this is. It's kind of hard to see actually. It is red Nike Air. It kind of looks like it has an aged effect to be honest with you. Uh, and then the shoe is completed with a simple white midsole and that pop of red for the outsole. As far as it goes, one of my favorite parts actually about this shoe is this little accessory that comes with the Jumpman hang tag and it's in that metallic color scheme. Really just gives it a little something, I don't know, a little bling, makes it pop off the side of the shoe, but I do love that they've added this nice little accent to it. Uh, as far as the box goes, it's just a simple black and red box and looking at this GS, honestly, I'm gonna have to say if you are in GIS, GS sizing price point wise, I would go for GS. This is the highest quality GS I've seen in a long time. I usually have some quality control issues that I talk about, but there's really not much to say about this. This is like top tier quality. They really didn't cheap out on this one. One of the other fine details that I almost missed actually is on the inside of the collar heel. Here you'll see that it actually has embroidered family on the inside. And let's take a look. I think it's on this side as well. Yep, so we've got family embroidered on both sides of the inside of that collar there. And that nice pop of red, it really pops off of the black. But I do love the subtle details. It's one of those things that I love so much when I'm reviewing sneakers is I find these subtle details that, you know, really lets you know that the team over at Jordan has really thought about what they want to place as far as themes and sayings. And I love that they have that family embroidered on the inside there. All right, so let's take a look at those details and then move on to size and fit. All right, so as far as sizing goes, I am a seven in grade school, which is equivalent to a woman's eight and a half. I do swing between an eight and a half to a nine and a half, depending on the type of shoe that I'm wearing. I would say stick true to size on this one. Typically a seven and a half, but I can fit into Jordan one high, specifically in a seven youth. So definitely stick true to size. Um, if you do have higher generic feet like myself, I would say that you're kind of in the same frame of sizing, but if you do have flatter white, wider feet, this could differentiate a size that works best for you. Uh, but other than that, stick true to size on this one. Now let's jump into styling. So I do again want to give a shout out to Fear No Soul because they have some amazing apparel as well. So if you do go over to their shop or head onto their website or Instagram, you'll see their apparel collection, which is fire. This one definitely I had to wear while I was doing this review just because the black and red, it goes so well with the bread patents. So definitely a great shirt to pair with your sneakers, especially if you're somebody like me that does tend to like to color combo with 
the sneakers that I'm wearing during that time. Uh, for the first look, I did wear one of the Fear No Soul shirts. It was a long sleeve tee in black, and I tucked that into just some nice simple denim pants. Obviously, these look amazing with any kind of denim that you do want to wear. It just really is a statement piece, and I wanted to just kind of make my look for the first option to be just kind of the backdrop, and I really think that these popped quite nicely. look I wanted to dress it up a little bit so for the ladies out there you can definitely wear these with skirts with dresses don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone and wear sneakers with dressier outfits uh, I decided to pair it with an asymmetrical leather skirt and then I tucked a button-down leather shirt into that skirt to give it this all black look because as you all know I love me some black and sometimes dark gray I only work in black and sometimes very very dark gray but again this shoe it's just a statement piece it's it's like so powerful the color combo and the fact that it's patent and when i was shooting this the sun was setting so it was just beaming off the side of this and all the panels so definitely just obsessed with how the shoe looks like in person For the last look, I decided to wear a faux fur jacket, and that jacket had a nice plaid pattern to it with red and black. Kind of just wanted to match the shoe to a T with the last look. I wore just a simple black crop tank underneath that and some Jordan cargo uh, leather pants. Obviously, I think leather just goes great with patent leather, so I really wanted to just kind of accentuate that with wearing a lot of leather in the looks that I decided to go with. So you let me know out of those three looks which look you like the best or how would you style the patent bread?
soul on a beautiful sunny day. It's 60 degrees outside, which is crazy here in New York. Thank Weird God. for winter time, right? I'm like, I'm not sad about it, not mad about it, but this shoe is an early look. And this is a bread that I've been waiting for, the patents. It's pretty, pretty nice because you can't really get them dirty, to be honest with you. That's my secret sauce with patent leather. What are your thoughts on this? I think the quality is crazy. And same thing, you keep them clean, you know what I mean? The quality control on them were great. It's just, I think it's one of the sneakers of the year. Can't go wrong with a bread colorway. Nope. Jordan doesn't give us enough, but that's okay. Makes it more unique and more rare, but this is grade school. And I always talk about this, it's quality control issues. This though, I've seen nothing wrong with the grade school version. I feel like it's just like any of the adult versions. No, yeah, I think they took their time building the, you know, the GS sizes this time. Like I said, quality control, you go take a look, it's just ridiculous. No glue stains, no nothing. Just amazing, you know, even the shine, just that patent leather, that shine off of it, it just, it just pops. You know, I see all the women wearing these, going crazy Ladies, for them. Ladies, and pat, that patent leather, that sheen. Yep. You little something, something to go out with. The hotcakes for the ladies this year. So where can people find you? Where can they purchase these if they're interested in buying them? Well, you can find us at 2010 Bergen Line Avenue in Union City, New Jersey, Fear No Soul. Um, you can also go on to fearnosoul.com if you're out of state and you want to buy them. Um, just reach out to us, man. Our Instagram is Fear No Soul. We're here 24 7. We always working. So come out and check us out. Check them out. You know where to find them. Be sure to check out my links down below. I will have some links and places that you can find uh, Fear No Soul at. So be sure to check that out in the description box as well as I'll definitely post their address. So if you are in the Union City, Jersey area, feel free to stop by and go check out all the heat that they've got displayed. All right, so these will be launching officially, according to the Sneakers app, on the 30th of December. As you know, a lot of Jordan's holiday pieces did get pushed back, but it looks like this one is still set to drop on December 30th. The grade school is going for $130, and the adults is going for $170. Again, if you can fit into grade school sizing, I highly recommend saving the $40 and going with grade school if you can. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel and here for the first time, hit that subscribe. If you have not already, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me any comments or questions that you may have down below. Hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button as well as our merch store. Again, huge thank you to the family at Fear No Soul. Be sure to check them out at Union City's location in New Jersey or be sure to follow them on their Instagram page. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you on the next one.